Picked up this 19, I think, 30s monitor top, General Electric uh, refrigerator today. It was a guy in a body shop. Uh, somebody dropped it off a few years ago to be painted and never heard from them again. And I was in there working on their heating and air and bought it from the guy. Um, it's already been painted. Uh, it's not the best paint job I've ever seen. It's got a bunch of runs, but all in all, looks pretty good. Um, the handles, handle on it's gonna have to, it's probably got a broken spring or it may be broke on the inside of the door, but it's been running about 15, 20 minutes and it's already uh, zero degrees on the, in the freezer and eh, it's showing 40 degrees down here in the refrigerator already. Um, all in all, this thing's in good shape. It's already got a full frost everywhere. Um, light switch. And I'm assuming this, I think this is a, uh, it used to have a foot pedal to open the door and it's gone. But I think when you mash that foot pedal, this button right here would help spring the door open. Well, I guess that was fine and all, but it finally punched a hole in the little trim right there, which that's no big deal. I can fix that or replace it with plexiglass. Um, of course, the guy hadn't put a, a, a door seal on it yet, which is no big deal. Um, it come with everything in it except for this glass um, right here. I bought this off eBay a while back because I thought it would fit in one of my other fridges. It's actually a Frigidaire um, glass, but heck, it fits perfectly in fits perfectly in this uh, fridge. I'm gonna leave it in this fridge unless I find something else I, that'll work better. Um, but uh, things been running great. Real, real quiet. Um, of course the wiring, you know, is hideous. It'll have to be rewired. Uh, it's running at 2.9 amps. Now it was started out about 2.3. Um, of course, the data plate is so bad you can't read anything, so I don't know the exact model on this one. Um, and the relay, I'm pretty certain it does go down in here. And surely there's enough wire left on it to be able to pull it out and uh, rewire this thing. I know I'm going to have to take this top apart to get to the terminals of the compressor underneath, but I'm pretty certain... This screw hole right here is supposed to hold that relay in place. It's just kind of dangling in there. And um, I wanted to see if it ran before I even bought it. And of course, that's how, I, <laughs> that's how I'm running it right now, but I'm not leaving it left like this. I'm just running it while I'm here and I'm watching the amperage. Um, but so far, everything looks, looks pretty good. I mean, I mean, like I said, it's not the best paint job in the world, but probably as good or better than I could do. And, um, okay. It just cut off. Okay. I think I've got the knob turned all the way up. And it's about, I think it was 40 degrees and zero in the actual freezer. So it's running great. Thermostat seems to be working. Um, pretty much all I'm going to do with this one, probably fix this handle. Put a new door seal on it. Um, I'm definitely going to take these controls off, take a look at them, and see if they need to be cleaned, maybe oiled. Um, this knob right here is a little out of whack. Um, well, not any. I got the knob right now, so that's pointing to off. And that's on. So I just got to figure out how to get this off. And I think the knobs will... I think the knobs just pull off. That's about the only way they can come off. Um, other than that, I think it was a pretty good, nice looking fridge. It's, like I said, it's my first monitor top and uh, I like it. It's pretty cool looking.